Welcome back. Dan Toller is in the kitchen. Guess he's teaching us some science, this chromatography. That's right. That's right, I'm right. <laughs> That's right, you're Impressive. right. Impressive. Uh, I'm just impressed, Mark, I'm, I'm impressed. You, oh. 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 Words okay. are hard, words are hard. Words are and hard. that was a big word. So, now, so what does chromatography mean? Yeah. Dan. Oh. <laughs> I'm here with the assist. running the segment, I'm just all on. Chromatography you. is actually a scientific experiment that chemists use to separate pigments. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but think of the colors we commonly know. So, something like a green marker. We know green is made up of blue and yellow, okay. right? Yeah. But something like blue, which is a primary color, we think of as just one pigment, right? right? But actually, some of these markers are made up with multiple blues in them. And so when chemists are trying to figure out what color is in something, and, and that could be a natural object like a carrot, or it could be one of your markers, they use chromatography because pigments actually all move at a different rate. Just like if all of us were in a race, and we were st start at the beginning and going to the finish line, we would all reach the finish line at a different speed, right? right. Well, Believe it or not, every colored molecule moves at a different rate. Wow. So as you think, as you move these pigments through paper, you see them all separate. So, so does that mean the same colored molecules travel at the same rate if if all in general ones? So you're basically there, but it, it, they're identical. It depends all. on the actual chemical compound. So it's okay. not just all reds, but, okay. but specific reds. Okay. Like, so you made a time-lapse video of this to show us exactly oh, what you're yeah. saying. We did. It's really cool. You can see this now. On the left, you've got a brown marker, and this is a chromatography strip of paper. And on the right, a brown M&M, because I want to show the difference between using um, artificial coloring in the marker and the natural coloring that's in the brown M&M. Now, brown is a really complex color, actually, and it has literally every color in the rainbow. Look at so that. Nice. This took about 40 minutes um, from start oh to finish. Goodness. But you've got pinks, you've got reds, you've got yellow. Yellows, blues, and greens at the very top, and if you uh, really look close at the brown M and M, you can see those same yeah. colors as well. So it's kind of a fun experiment for kids to figure out what colors are in the things they're eating and what colors are making up some of their other favorite colors. So will then black have the most colors in it? Black has a lot of colors. Black and brown are the most interesting, I think, to do this experiment with. So if you Say you have the twirly mustache, like a mad scientist. What else yes. do you need to do this at home? You know, this is super easy. You can get some chromatography strips on Amazon, which is what I used in that video, but you can do it with stuff you've got at home already. Coffee filters, printer paper, and some paper towels. So really, all you have to do is fill some wine glasses with just a little bit of water and put some dots of marker right on your paper. And you want to make sure that the, uh, the ink is above the water line. What a fun science project yeah. to do with your kids. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, if you were my science teacher, I, I would have done the, yeah. the whole year. I would have done year. better, yeah. yeah. And you really can just see, it's, yeah. it's fun for kids to actually watch how quickly this happens. Now, it's also fun to, to figure out which one of these is going to be the quickest. Um, and uh, I bet you have some guesses, but we've got some examples over here as okay. well. Well, it's funny. When I was a kid, I used to like mix my sodas. I'd mix like, the, the cherry soda and the orange right. soda, and it would turn brown. But I never thought about like what that actually right. was happening. Right, all the different colors. Yeah. That was called the suicide, when you put all the different flavors <laughs> right. together. Oh, but now exactly. I get brown is all those colors. Brown is, uh, yeah, brown has a, a ton of pigment okay, so in it. so explain. So, what's so now what's happening now? here, so chromatography needs two things. It needs a liquid phase and a solid phase. The liquid phase we're using is obviously just water, and the solid phase are these different papers. Now, as the liquid phase moves through the solid phase, it's going to start that race. It's going to start the marathon. So all of those pigments go off at the, at the at start of the gun, and they're gonna move at different rates. So you can actually already see in the brown over here, mm -hmm. we're already starting yeah. to get some separation. The red is the slowest, it's not taking off at all. The, uh, and then the brown at the top is gonna separate into blue and green and yellow. And you can see here, I've got some examples. Oh. Now, remember I said this is like a race. So we did this paper earlier, eventually, so the dots were all here. Eventually, everything is gonna reach the finish line. Oh if you leave wow. this long enough, everything will, will migrate all the way to the top. But in the meantime, you can see, like this was a brown dot. You can see at the top, we've got some uh, blue and green, some yellow, some red, and pink. The, uh, the printer paper is really it, kind of impressive, actually. I'm going to hold this up for Schwartz because it's really difficult. It, um, it sort of collapses wow. these lines really closely. So if you look, look that. that was a brown dot, but you can really see all the striation and color there. It almost looks like a cityscape. It does. It looks like the we shoes we made. And, yeah. and believe it or not, so the chromatography paper is made for chemists to do this. Uh -huh. This is what a brown dot looks like in the very end. So we've got a brown dot like soaking a here, and it takes 35 to 40 minutes to go all the way up, but the pigment separates entirely. Well, anybody have questions? Do Kim, any? Or? No, I no? find it very interesting. Yeah, you know, the really fun thing, do. too, is if you want to do this instead of with markers but with food, I've got some Skittles here. I just put a few drops of water on the plate. The Skittles, on your hands, they start right. to turn color. So all I did yeah. is I, I put the Skittle each in a drop of, uh, drop of liquid, and you're going to touch just a little bit of chromatography paper to that and get that pigment there. 
and then we can do the exact same experiment okay. here, and you can see it with all of your, your favorite candies, so Jolly Ranchers, Skittles, M&Ms, just a couple drops of water, and you'll see all the colors that make up the dye. But speaking of seeing the colors, Go now, for it. try to explain this to me then. How come I can, I'm gonna use, yellow over there because it's, so bright. it's a little bright how come my eyes can tell that that's yellow and not 15 different colors so believe it or not in the in the light that is just around us every color imaginable exists but we're only able to see a small fraction of them and even within that fraction we can only see the things that are reflected back to us so for instance this is a green and this is a green skittle we know it's green because actually the molecules in the dye are reflecting green light back to our eyes they're not reflecting any of the other ambient colors in the atmosphere so it's all about reflection which is why in a perfectly dark room you wouldn't see anything Hmm. There'd be nothing to reflect off. Of. I don't believe it. Let me see that. I feel like I totally get it, yet I don't get it at <laughs> all. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Mark, Mark, you anybody just see wanted it? Mark, if you, you, no, you no, need some thinking for that, yeah, I need for you. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, everything Silver. really is just shades of gray. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. More with the family. Minus one, man.